go, let's go. Hype, hype, hype. Let's go, people. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Clean and played up with flair. I had to deal with that. So. Up with flair. 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 As long as you've got tortillas in your heart, asada in your soul, it's just going to be a pretty nice little talk. But yes, I'm very high in age. Guess what? Very, very. I got a fever. Would be a lot higher after that one. I like a lettuce wrap, except in my house we call it squats. I got a Loading up some new bong water. No, you bastard. What up, buds? How's it going, everybody? Welcome in. Let's let's pick a new station. Let's pick a station. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We do lo-fi? Let's do lo-fi. Yeah, let's just get some lo-fi. Start it off. Maybe, maybe lo-fi is a little too. Maybe it's a little too. Let's do lo-fi. Let's do chill EDM. But what up, buds? How you doing? Welcome in. Trying out some some different stuff right now. Gotta gotta keep. Gotta keep changing everything, develop everything. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Don't ever settle for what you just have. Hey, tomato, how you doing? Hi, pie. <laughs> Gotta give it the spicy. I know you do know. So negative fifty-five. What the fuck? That is like tundra weather. What the hell? All right, all right. No. Cheers. First day back in the kitchen since uh, last Thursday. So it's good to see y'all showing up for it. I appreciate you. Whoo, that first one. Today, y'all. Today, y'all. First off, let's back it up. If you don't know already, I'm BB Bubs. We're part of the food and drink category here on Twitch. Also part of Team Bonin. We're just doing some fun stuff in the kitchen today, as always. Uh, well, not as always, because we're trying to do some more stuff upstairs as well in the new setup that we have there. So be sure to tune in tomorrow because Jess B.U. is taking over the stream. She's going to be playing some video games. It should be a really fun time. Also, if I'm screaming, uh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that I don't have a mic that I'm projecting into, but I'm actually just talking into a wireless mic now. So I've got to get used to that. I'm not used to that. But welcome in, everybody. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is I got some fresh, fresh citrus from a buddy of mine when we were in California. They live in Orange County, so they grow oranges. So we're gonna do a three course meal with these oranges. Now, we're gonna get started with one of the things first. Uh, tomato, this is actually a mic that I, I waited to get, but it's a, it's a Rode wireless mic. It's the Rode Go Wireless, and it's awesome. Uh, I did get a new microphone as well for Christmas uh, from a friend of mine, and it is upstairs. It is the Wave 3. 
So I figured I'd put the Elgato Wave 3 upstairs. We got the Razer cameras down here and we've got the Elgato face cam up top. It's pretty fucking crazy. It's a great mic. Uh, the road, yeah, the road is pretty awesome. Um, and it's just spelled R-O-D-E. Just so you know, I got the, I got the white one because it was on sale. Uh, it's, it's the same mic. So I, it took a little minute to get it all set up and figure out like where to put it. But once I did, like I haven't had a lot of time to mess around with the volumes of everything, but I'm liking it so far. Back. Let me just, there we go. There you go, a little bit different there. So I'm still figuring out the best placement for it. It might end up being like, do it like that, which might be a little bit better. I got it looped under my shirt so it's not like getting all fucked up by anything like towels or pans. I don't want the wire to catch on anything, right? So I got it underneath my shirt. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here for now and we're gonna just see how that goes. So I might get louder when I turn, but regardless, Pretty stoked, pretty stoked. Uh, so today, we're gonna be making, uh, what are we gonna make? We're making a salad. We're gonna make a kind of like a fresh salad with uh, some escarole and some, um, oh, hey, what up there? OM dog, I don't know what my alert it is. I was like, why did my alert go off? Why don't my alert love you? <laughs> Boom, what up dog? How you doing, man? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make a nice little salad, and we're gonna make some panna cotta for dessert, and we're gonna have our chicken cariage, but we're gonna do a little like sweet and sour with, with orange instead of pineapple, um, and it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna throw some scallions into that. We'll make some rice. Should be delicious. That is getting a streaming apron made. Very excited. Special spots for all those electronics. Oh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea, um, dog. I love that. I love that. Did I say what now? I think, uh, uh, kariage, kariage, kariage. Sir, you get dead fish or strawberry smoothie. I'm um, dog. When are you here? When do you get here? When is that happening? We need to talk. By the way, it's dead fish. That is dead fish, and it is awful. That is awful. Hello there. Daniel. Daniel, hello there. Thank you for the follow. Hmm. Guys, if you can help out in any way by hosting up the stream while you're here, if you don't subscribe or, or do anything like that, if you follow, lurk, engage, host, it helps out the stream immensely by boosting our signal here. Daniel, thank you for contributing to Mario Kart Night. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started with our panna cotta. Now, how I wanna do this is I wanna do the panna cotta I want to do them in these black bowls, or do I? No, I think I want to do the I think I want to do the salad in these black bowls. So let's do the panna cotta in this because we're also going to be making like an orange uh, syrup, and we're going to be making a jelly. So the idea is that we're going to mold our panna cottas when we make the make the whole mixture. We're gonna take that, we're gonna chill it down, we're gonna put a little thing in here so it could be a bit of a stopper. And uh, we're just gonna let it chill in this plate. So, hopefully, that'll work out in our favor. So to do so, mm -hmm. might need to add a little something so it doesn't flow out. Or what we can do, or what we can do, this might work out better. Mm. 
since this is already cold. And that way we don't have to worry about plates. We can take some plastic wrap. I got those bowls, I'm um, Doug, I found those bowls at, uh, what was it? Uh, at home is what it's called. Have you, ever, have you ever been there? I don't know if they have those in Canada. But I like those bowls. I, I, I saw a bunch of plates there and they were relatively inexpensive. So I was like, yeah, all right. We don't have any like really nice silicone molds yet. Hey, how's it going? Big kid, how's it going? So yesterday we played some uh, words on stream. Have you guys, if you, if you were here for it, you know what I'm talking about. If, if you don't, it's a really fun game. Anybody can play it. It uh, doesn't matter where you are. All you gotta do is try to find the anagrams in, in the chat or in the game and type it into chat. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just prepping our patience here. Maybe what else we can do, I got an idea. For the jelly, instead of trying to have a mold for it, unfortunately. All right, so we're just gonna have to have two different things here. Dude, that was awesome. I, we had some ringers in. I don't know if you guys, if you were there, you saw it, but we had some fucking ringers in the chat for sure. Uh, these guys, at least these, this one guy, what was it? Big uh, dead ass boneless pizza. That's what it was. Dead ass boneless pizza came in uh, with a few other people and we just, we got to level 83. Level 83 was where we ended up. I couldn't believe it. That was nuts. People were hyped. I liked it. It was moving so fast at one point though, my mind was absolutely mush. I was just looking at it. I was like, oh, that's, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. <laughs> also really quick, can you guys hear the music all right? Everything good? Volume levels? Just tell me, just tell me otherwise and we can try to adjust. Yeah, Big Kid, you were doing great. Big Kid, you are very good at that game. You were, you were able to put words together that I was like, would never, would never been able to do that. So, good on you, sir. Good on you. Play a lot of Scrabble, gotcha. So these are straight up I will say probably like Valencia oranges from Orange County. <laughs> Pretty epic. Pretty epic. Right now we're gonna need, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need one cup, about two cups total. We're looking for a quart of orange juice. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna use some of these oranges for their zest, but not much. We don't need like a lot of zest. But I am so excited to use these. And then we've got some tangerines that we're gonna turn into just some garnishes. Uh, one for the salad and one for the entree, or no, one for the dessert. So we'll make some, we'll make a, uh, an orange syrup. We'll have our panna cottas that we're gonna put a little bit of the orange zest in. We're gonna make an orange uh, jelly that we can put over the top. We're gonna cut those and do that. And then we're gonna do the orange glaze, our sweet and sour orange uh, for the karayage. So we're gonna get the panna cottas done first so that they can set and the, so the jelly can set. And then we're gonna get the chicken ready so we can marinate that, which is gonna take some orange zest as well as some uh, buttermilk and just a touch of orange juice as well. For the salad, it's gonna be mostly just a raw salad. Should be just lovely.
But how's everybody been today? Everybody been good? I hope so. I hope everybody's been lovely. So we're making a buttermilk panna cotta. Everybody say hi, just for you. Hi. Hi. Okay, we'll do. It might it might get a little too hot, but we'll see. Too hot, too hot, too hot, yes. Give me a chef. You'd love my family. Uh, one, it's like. You'd love my family. One, it's like 150 years old. What are you talking about? What, what's 150 years old? Your family? Bet your family's older than that. What you, what you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Cookbook. Oh, <laughs> your family has a cookbook? That's pretty legit. That's pretty legit, dude. There used to be, I guess, but some some other family member got their hands on it and they have not been seen since. Oh, man. The smell. The smell of the oranges right now. Fucking wonderful. Oh my. This does not. Hmm. No, it should be fine. Maybe if we go the other direction. It started off strong. Let's try the other ones. There we go. Weird. So weird. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. See that? <laughs> is a hoarder. A lot of lot of different lot of different recipes all over. Yeah, because like my grandmother on my dad's side didn't really cook. She was she was one of those people that like they ordered their food and brought it home, you know? Like Chris, Christmas was like, oh I got this ham that was done up by you know, they got it from somebody that was doing it right. But at the same time, th that, that means they didn't really have any recipes of their own. So my grandma never really cooked. But they were glad to have somebody cook for them. Absolutely. They were like, fuck it, we're not gonna cook. We're gonna at least find the people that know how to throw down. All right. Let's start getting this ready. I got some, some buttermilk, orange zest, and some salt queued up for our chicken when that's all ready. Texas, what's up? <sighs> dad. Texas dad. Grown. <laughs> How's it going, Texas dad? How you been? So I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. My sister for Christmas, as siblings, we decided that this year we're not, we're just gonna do gifts like one person. So we did like a secret Santa name draw and we were like, all right, so who's gonna get, who's gonna get who? We had this thing figured all out. And uh, I got my brother, I got him this like nice gift certificate to uh, a record store that he loves. Like, he got it early, so he went and picked out all his records so he could listen to them on Christmas. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, but my sister got me, and she got me this cold-pressed juicer that was on my Amazon wish list. Pretty awesome. What did pirates eat to for the vitamin C and the scurvy? 
and to keep off the scurvy. Avoid those yellow eyes. You know that? Citrus on a pirate ship or on, on just ships in general? Sam, what's good? How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Dad, we're getting everything ready. I'm about to, I'm about to get Jaleez and uh, Penacota made. I've kind of got it all sourced out here. We're just gonna add in the gelatin, heat it up, add in some sugar, add in some gelatin, and uh, finish it off, do all those things. Then we're also gonna make some orange sweet and sour sauce. You get, do I get what? I don't know what that is. But Sam, I hope you're doing well. Hope life's been lovely. The new apartment still, uh, oh, tree call. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. What is it? How's the new apartment been treating you, Sab? I know you said you moved in like at the beginning. It was like the beginning of this month, right? Or like the end of last month? It's like makeable syrup, but made with pure sugar. Oh my God. Uh, how do you celebrate orange drink that doesn't expire? Wu-Tang it's forever. Wow. Life's been annoying at the new place. Trying to get internet. Oh, really? Is it not, is like the new place not hooked up? But you do love it. Okay, okay, that's good. Oh, and did you harvest? Did you harvest already? Oh, Texas dad. No mas. No mas subscription. So we have this black uh, trachel. It makes the best toffee. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay, is it called treacle toffee? Tre treacle coffee? Treacle toffee? <laughs> Papa Joan, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're well. What's good? <laughs> nah, yeah, it doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? It's it's not as a it's not as a, a nice name as I would have I would have said, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're just juicing some oranges. I decided to put this camera back up on the ring light that I have up here because I just feel like it gets a better, it gets a better far away thing and the camera, the camera is so much better that when I, when I pull something up to it, it's not going to wash it out anymore. It's going to actually like, we're doing 60 frames per second here, guys. Like we're doing 60 frames per second. That's pretty amazing. My place is listed as commercial property uh, with the city because it's newly residential. Yeah, a while back, uh, been curing and will smoke new, oh, that is awesome. Oh, ringing in the new year with the new strain. What were the strains that you got? I'm upright, that's why, and that's always a good thing. I agree. I agree, that is always a good thing. I'm glad that you're upright. I hope you remain to be so. I hope you remain to be so. Making lots of infused goodies though. Ooh, now you use the, uh, what is it, the, the Limos? Is that what it is? Sav, is it the Limos that you use? I couldn't remember. My goodness juice that we got off of those oranges. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. The Levo, that's what it is. Look at that. Look how much juice we got. Oh my God. That's amazing. I am so happy with how much we got there. I am going to strain it out though. I do want to strain it out so it's a little bit. How was your day? And the missus, the missus is great. We're doing well. It's been a chill one today. It might rain a little bit, so we're kind of just waiting on that. It's been nice and cloudy though. I hope it rains. All the rain we can get out here, you know? It rained a lot last week, and I was pretty stoked on that. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? How you doing, Ryan? Good to see you. 
Right, how, how is, uh, is Rappel all done? How was the rest of his stream? Guys, I was hanging out with Rappel in his stream today, and it was the most cringe-worthy, hilarious fucking stream. He basically had people fill out, uh, he had people fill out those BDS, BDSM forms, and like, you know, it like tells you like, oh, what are your kinks and that kind of stuff, whatever. Anyway, people, people sent that to him, and then he like, he showed them on screen, and he, show, he showed all these different people that were in, in the game, and chat had to guess, based upon what they knew about those people, whose, whose was what. And I was like, oh my god, that is so funny. That, uh, oh yeah, you like the juice, huh? You like the juice, huh? The juice is good, huh? Papa Joan, I am old enough to remember that. I am old enough to remember that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but here we are. But here we are. <laughs> All right, so we've got everything that we need. for our reduction, just adding sugar to that. And then we might need a little bit more orange juice. Not much though, not much though. Look at that. Actually, that might just do it for a sweet and sour. I think we juiced everything that we needed for that whole thing. All those oranges gave us like perfection, stoked. Okay, so. What we need to do now is just kind of clean this up a touch. Clean this up. I'm gonna get a bowl with some water so that we can put some ice. We got some ice packs in it. And then when we're done with all of our panna cotta and our jelly, we're gonna strain it out. We're gonna strain it out back into this white bowl, we'll put some ice in that metal bowl, and we'll just kind of stir it a bit so it cools down a touch before we pour it in. Hey, how's it going, squirrel girl? Good to see you. Hope you're well. Let's put this back into the fridge. Guys, if you're just joining us, uh, we're getting everything put together for our panna cotta right now. I just need to get the sugar and then weigh out the gelatin or measure out the gelatin. But we got all of our orange juice for all the different components we're doing today, which is awesome, which is just awesome. So we're gonna need some powdered sugar, the regular sugar, some cornstarch out just for the future here. Ah! It's macaroni for Friday. Rose! Rose, how you doing, you brat? <laughs> I was just talking about Raph's thing, and I was like, I have learned so much about people today that I never thought I would learn about. I was laughing, <laughs> I was laughing so hard. So damn hard. I, I just, that was hilarious. He really, he really did a good job for, for just leaning into that, you know what I mean? I gotta hand it to him. That's like, that's like nerve wracking for a lot of people, like what he did. But to be able to just kind of like own it, he did a great job. Cause that really is like, that's not, that's not an easy thing to just like jump into and expect people to be like, okay with it, you know? But he had a good, a good, 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 a good crew. I was like, man, I was like, if you're doing this like a, um, if you're doing this like a game show, I almost want them to call it safe word. So it's kind of like password. Still kind of goes into. Exactly, everybody was in it for a good time and just having fun with it. And that's, to me, I'm like, that's huge. That's huge. Because like everybody knew what they were getting themselves into. So yeah, it worked out. It worked out. Really funny though. Really, really funny. 
He went on for a while with it too. Like people, that, that was like probably the coolest thing. It's like people came in for it. All right, so right now, guys, if you're just joining us, we got on the stove right now. So the, everything in the pot that's white, that's going to be our panna cotta. Everything in the back one, that's going to be our uh, jelly for our topper, our garnish. And then I've got something lined up so that when it's time, uh, I can do a little orange syrup that we can put on the plate as well. So for this, gelatin-wise, for the jelly, we need one teaspoon. So we're just gonna sprinkle this gelatin over the top. Okay, and for the panna cotta, we need one tablespoon and a quarter teaspoon. Rose, how you doing? Rose, I saw you on that on that thing on Stevie uh, Stevie Business last night. He had his little thing, and then uh, I also saw like Raph was in there, and then Raph was doing his thing this morning. I was like, holy shit. Uh, what would you suggest as an alter alternative to gelatin? Uh, if you are vegetarian, pescatarian, vegan, agar, agar, uh, I would say instead of getting like the sheets of agar, because that can be a little bit more difficult, find powdered agar. If you can't find it at the store, if you have enough notice, look for it online. You could probably order it through, um, you could probably order that through Amazon. But yeah, agar is a seaweed derivative. So that's what you can use instead. I don't think there's really, it's, it's, it doesn't taste like seaweed. It's not like, you know what I mean? I say that and some people might be like, oh, well, I don't like seaweed, I don't want that. But trust me, it's not, you're not gonna taste anything. For like 10 years and it sucks. That's fair, that's fair. And that's, are you, Rose, what, if you don't mind me asking, are you are you vegetarian, pescatarian? What is it? Because if you don't know, guys, gelatin is like animal-based product. Okay. Now this is just unflavored, but yeah, it's basically it's basically like they take bones and stuff like that, reduce it, and they make a powder with the rest of it. So, Jello, all that kind of stuff is made with gelatin. So if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you're eating Jello, just know. There actually isn't always room for Jello. Boom. Raya gets it. Raya gets it for quite a while, and uh, but I've gone back to vegetarian. That's fair. Oh, that's fair. So I'm coming up with an idea, guys, and I would love I would love to get some people a part of this. This is for non food and drink streamer collaborative. Okay. I want to get. Some people, I wanna try and do this twice a month, every other week. I wanna to talk to a, uh, a, just a non-food and drink streamer, gamer, just chatting, what have you. And I wanna ask them, what do they have in their pantry? And we come up with some ingredients that they have in their pantry, and it gives enough, enough time to kinda of do a little bit of research if they need to and come up with something, and gives me time to go out and buy it if I don't already have it. I wanna work with what they have. And from there, we do a collaborative stream where we both make a dish using those ingredients. And then at the end of it, we both show what we've done, right? It'd be cool. And that way, if they have any questions about something, I can answer it. Chat can ask questions. We can have a lot of fun with it. So I'd bring you into the stream. We'd cook together. Uh, I know that's, and for some people who don't do food and drink streams, that might be a little bit weird because you're gonna have to set something up. So in that regard, you know, it, it might be a little, it might be a little tricky, but with enough preparation and enough talking about it, it might work out just fine. So I've already talked to a couple of people that are very interested in it, and uh, I, I can't wait to develop this further with them. I'm hoping that I can get this going. We can at least do one in January, just to get a feel for it. So I'm gonna be trying that out, but if it works, it'd be really cool to do some collaborative with some great people that come into the stream all the time if they're able to. I would love to be able to do that. All right, so I'm gonna put this over the stove really quick so you guys can see. Now, it's not too apparent because 
the camera over my stove isn't as fun, we'll say, as the other one. But this gelatin is starting to bloom. It's got these little like wrinkles on top. You might not be able to see it, but it's basically that's the gelatin starting to do its thing. I added it to our orange juice in the back. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna put this over some just low heat. We're gonna whisk it up. See if I can, there we go, that's a little bit better. We're gonna whisk it up and just dissolve the gelatin fully. And once we've done that for like five minutes, we're gonna put in our sugar and dissolve the sugar completely. And then I'm gonna strain this out. I'm gonna strain this out over the, the chinois on the table there, just to catch anything that might be left over, any clumps of the gelatin, right? Anything like that. And then we're gonna pour it onto this sheet tray that I've lined with some plastic. That way we can put it in the fridge it can start to cool. Before we do that, we're just gonna chill it down in a bowl with some ice so that it sets a little faster. We're gonna do the same thing with the panna cotta because we're working with the gelatin. Now agar, agar is a little different than gelatin because you kind of have to boil it for a little bit. That's the weird thing about agar, like opposed to gelatin. We were talking about agar earlier because rose colored chaos was like, hey, you know, what do you, what can you use as a substitute? So you gotta like bring that up to a boil. You gotta mix it constantly so that it doesn't clump. And then you can pour it into like a container and let it chill. The nice thing about agar in that sense, um, if you do a certain amount, the agar, you can put it into a blender and puree it. And what'll end up happening is it'll turn into like a thickened sauce. So really, you could do that with so many different things just by adding agar. How you doing, Super Wolf? I'll take that hit for you in a minute. So yeah, I would say, Rose, we can do like some, we can talk about that sometime and look at some videos. But that's how I've done, I've used agar in the past. It's like, you can't really walk away from it. You gotta be super careful and diligent, you know, but, the, the end result is wonderful. No, thank you for the lurk. Can you use pectin as a gelatin substitute because I made apples? Um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think pectin would work the same, but it might, but it might. I have personally never done that before. I have never done that before, but I don't see why it couldn't. I wonder if you did a mixture, Squirrel Girl, if you did like pectin and agar, and mix that together. Maybe if you did like a, com a combination of certain things, it might work out better. So I would say, look into it. That's all I can say, look into it. Let me know. I'm now putting this into your hands. <laughs> all right, we're gonna turn the heat on here. Start whisking in our gelatin into our, into our buttermilk. I also put in some orange zest into our panna cotta, which is another reason why I wanna make sure that we strain it. But yeah, I mean, pectin sets up, but it's not the same. It's not gonna have the same effect as gelatin. It'll certainly set it up though. I, I, I got a new plug for this thing and it didn't work out, so. I have, to, I have to do some changes there, but that's okay. All right, back on the heat here. Back on the heat. Back on the chain gang. So right now, you guys can kind of see, I'm, I'm whisking all this up, because I want to just cool down this jelly mixture that when I pour it on the sheet tray, it's gonna, it's gonna set up a little faster. You like the music? The music's funky, right? Yeah. It sucks, because I always wanna do something different with the music, but because I'm always cooking, it's, it, it, you know, you know, I can't, I can't do everything at once. 
I would need like full-time producer. <laughs> I would need a full-time producer here doing all that stuff for me. All right, so now that we have that, we can start making our, our, our uh, little set here, a little sauce for the panna cotta. I just need a quarter cup of sugar. Everything's gonna go in. And we're just gonna reduce that down. Drunken Buddha, what's up, dude? How you been? Guys, if you're not following Drunken Buddha, please do so. How's life, dude? I saw that you did all of that different, uh, all those different stuff the other weeks with uh, like Hanbi and, and Lulubu and uh, John Leung. Dude, I'm so glad that you and um, I'm so good. I'm so glad that you and Han B did something because Han B is the fucking man. He is one of my favorite streamers, has been for a minute. I've been following him since the start and I just, I'm waiting for the day that he makes partner because he's gotten so close so many times already. He's got a great community. We're making some, uh, we're making some panna cotta today. I got some oranges from a buddy of mine in California. And so what we're doing today is we're making a three course orange dinner. So we're making our panna cottas first. So what I have there on the cutting board is, uh, is the jelly base that we're gonna pour out and let cool. Then I've got these panna cotta bases that we're working on right now. We're gonna chill that down. And uh, then we're gonna make like a nice orange syrup that we're gonna use. I've also got some tangerines that we're gonna put across the plate. Should look beautiful. Um, and then I'm gonna make some chicken karyage. And we're gonna make a, uh, we're gonna make a sweet and sour sauce so we can coat all that with it. And then we're gonna make a salad. Nice fresh salad, escarole. I got some a watermelon radish. I've got some, uh, I've got some fennel, and we're gonna use this tangerine segments again, and we're gonna make just a little orange vinaigrette. And we also got some goat cheese. The only thing that I didn't get that I was kind of mad at myself was I didn't get any, I, I didn't get any, um, I didn't get any pistachios, and that's what I wanted. It looked like you guys had a lot of fun. I, I agree, dude. Like, I, drunken. I was walk. Like I said, I was watching some of it, and it was just a really, really good collab for a food and drink thing, man. I'm glad that you you felt good about it. You should be very proud of yourself. Very proud of yourself. All right, all right. Here we go. So. This, I'm gonna set down. And I know I still owe you a drink. I know I still owe you a drink, dude. All right, so that's nice and chilled. This is our jalees. So this is just orange jalee, and I'm gonna put this on there uh, for chat. Agar is from red algae, not animals. And see, yeah, that's what we were talking about, yeah. Squirrel Girl, that's why when they asked, like, what's a good substitute, I said, uh, agar, agar. It's a great substitute. Highly recommend it for vegetarians and vegans, pescatarians. It's the way to go. All right. The Australian, I really, the ingredient had to be added. It's only 2% of the cow meat. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, if, if, if cows went on an all algae diet, they wouldn't have the same methane expressions that they have right now. But, granted, that means nothing when in comparison to the human footprint of the world. But yes, absolutely right. 
All right, so we've strained out our panna cotta base. I had some orange zest in there, as well as some vanilla. So we got kind of a, an orange Julius thing right now. Lindsay, what's up? How you doing? You're cooking up a storm? What are you cooking up today? Depending on the sweetness, I could candy some pecans too. Cheek by orange karyage, uh, sounds solid. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's gonna be plenty sweet because it's gonna be like a sweet and sour sauce. So I'm not really worried about sweetness in here. I actually